I am Dr. Robert E. Wyndham, the Assistant Secretary for Health. I have invited a number of people to join me here to talk to you about AIDS. We are going to discuss two aspects of this disease. First is how the disease is spread and how to prevent the spread of the disease. Second is to ask you to help people with AIDS by holding out a helping hand. Let's begin. Our first guest is Dr. Richard Keeling of the American College Health Association. Dr. Keeling. Thank you, Dr. Wyndham. It's an unfortunate and dangerous circumstance that the term AIDS has almost become a cliche. It's made the cover of Time and Newsweek. It regularly appears on the televised evening news and it's on the front cover of the paper every day. A-I-D-S. Most of us act like we know exactly what it is, but do we? The letters are for acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And for all the research and investigation that's been going on in laboratories and hospitals all over the world, we wish we knew a lot more about AIDS than we do. We wish we could find a cure and a vaccine to prevent its spread. AIDS is no cliche. AIDS is a killer. Researchers have determined that AIDS is caused by a virus. The shorthand name for the virus is also a set of letters, HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. We've also figured out that the HIV virus causes the body's immune system to break down, to become ineffective against certain life-threatening diseases. People with AIDS come down with rare and deadly forms of cancer. They are susceptible to severe kinds of pneumonia. Diseases that other people might fight off with very little trouble become grave illnesses for people with AIDS. And the result? People with full-blown AIDS die. That's the plain, simple, and honest truth. So far in the United States alone, more than 37,000 people infected with the HIV AIDS virus have died. I could string together a list of numbers that are the projections on how many people will be diagnosed as having AIDS in the next few years, how many will die, but all the numbers in the phone book aren't going to have the impact of being diagnosed yourself as having AIDS or finding out that someone you are close to has a diagnosis of AIDS. Since we have no vaccine to prevent the spread of AIDS and know of no cure for the disease, our hope is in prevention. By knowing how AIDS is spread, we can change behaviors that can put us at risk of becoming infected. We know that AIDS is spread by the exchange of body fluids during intimate sexual contact, both heterosexual and homosexual. You don't get AIDS because of who you are. You get AIDS because of what you do. We also know that AIDS is bloodborne. That means it can be passed from an infected person to someone else by the exchange of blood, especially by sharing needles for intravenous drug use. AIDS can also be passed in tainted blood products, and it can be passed from a woman to her baby either before or during birth. So how do we stop AIDS? We stop its spread by being smart and by being careful. AIDS is a sexually transmitted disease. You can avoid it by not having sex. If you are sexually active, know your partner. Talk about the risks and how to avoid them. Multiple sexual partners greatly increase your risk from AIDS, as well as any other sexually transmitted disease. You may have heard that using condoms will protect either sex partner from getting AIDS if the other person is infected. Although not 100% guaranteed, condoms do greatly reduce the risk of becoming infected with AIDS when they are used correctly. Do not use intravenous drugs, which is sound advice under any circumstance. Do not share needles with anyone. If you are an intravenous drug user, counseling and help are available to you. And a final suggestion, don't mix alcohol or other drugs with sexual encounters. Clouding your judgment, impairing your ability to make good decisions is an invitation to trouble. Be careful, be smart. AIDS is not something to be taken lightly or ignored. It is a deadly, very real problem that with good sense and with respect for yourself and the people around you can be controlled and avoided. I've called on Stephen Beck, the director of the National Association of People with AIDS, to join me in asking you to help people with AIDS. Stephen? You've heard the really important information about how to avoid AIDS. Since we don't have a cure or a vaccine, stopping the spread of the disease is up to all of us. Dr. Wyndham and I can hope that you use the information in this program for your own health and safety, and for the safety and health of the people around you. 
You've got a lifetime ahead of you. We want you to live it. Be safe. But being safe, avoiding AIDS, does not mean that you can or should avoid those who are infected with the AIDS virus. The chances are very good that someone you know or someone you meet in your college years will be infected with AIDS. Yet with all that we know about AIDS, we know that it doesn't spread through casual contact. You won't get AIDS by shaking hands or hugging or talking or laughing with someone over a good joke. You don't get AIDS from sinks or toilet seats. The AIDS virus isn't passed along on towels or sheets or glasses or plates or bottles. You've heard two words you need, prevention and understanding. The third word is equally important, and that is compassion. Now, about compassion, about helping people help themselves. Here's how. The National Association of People with AIDS is a grassroots organization of people, all with AIDS, AIDS-related complex, or the virus men, women, and children, people of all colors, gay and straight, senior citizens, and college students like you. And like you, people with AIDS work hard just at living, despite having AIDS. Local people with AIDS organizations exist throughout the country. There's probably one near your campus. Contact them or contact us and we'll tell you where to call. And offer to intern or volunteer. Consider doing an internship for credit and help develop policy or political action, computerized databases, accounting or fundraising, public relations. Journalism students can write for their newsletters or volunteer with the phones at special events or make people with AIDS organizations the beneficiaries of fundraising you do on campus. Or help an individual by driving someone to the doctor or to the supermarket or babysitting their kid. You can do something about AIDS. Like Dr. Wyndham and Dionne Warwick say, hold out a helping hand to people with AIDS because that's what friends are for. And here are some of our friends joining us in this request. Hello, I'm Gary Busey. Please lend a helping hand to people with AIDS. Thank you. Me llamo Hiberto Garcia, que soy de Shamrock, Texas. It's the kind of place where folks might not think anything out of the ordinary happens. The news always happens somewhere else. Good things and bad things that happen are always outside of our world. That's not true, though. And I know that about firsthand. You see, I have AIDS. It would be easy for me to sit back and wonder, why me? Things like that don't happen to people from my town, my school, my group. But they do happen. It happened to me. For the last two years, I've been spending as much time and energy as I can talking to people like us, like you and me, about the risk of AIDS. You've heard what AIDS is, a viral disease that breaks down your immune system. You've heard that the AIDS virus is carried in your blood and in other bodily fluids that is transmitted by intimate sexual contact or the sharing of needles used for intravenous drugs. Let me really hit home with something you've heard before and you'll hear it again. It's not casual conversation. It's the real thing. Be smart. Be safe. Protect yourself and the people around you. You know what condoms are. Use them. They aren't a 100% insurance policy, but safe sex is smart sex. It's the way to intelligently protect yourself. Don't ever share a needle with anyone else. If you got a drug habit, there are people around you on campus that can help you beat the problem. Get help. Don't share needles under any circumstances. You know, life is a real sweet thing. You're just getting a leg up on your future. Don't throw it away when you can keep it looking bright by being smart and being safe. Hello. I'm Marielle Hemingway. Please lend a helping hand to people with AIDS. Thank you. 
I appreciate the chance to say a few words to people on college campuses. The time we spend on campus is some of the most important, formative time of our lives. If you're anything like me, the thinking, challenging, growing, and learning you do in your college years is as important as any other time in your life. Quite often, it's the stereotype and images that get in the way of the real understanding. What I can learn about you as a person is going to mean a whole lot more than how you look, where you come from, the color of your skin, what kind of car you drive, or the clothes that you wear. If you got to know me, you'd find out that I grew up on a farm near a small town in Iowa. I went to the University of Iowa, and through my work as a student senator and treasurer of our student government, I was fortunate enough to be on the board of directors for the U.S. Student Association. In college, I majored in nursing, and that I have AIDS-related complex, or ARC. You see, people with AIDS and ARC are people first. The theme of this program is reaching out a helping hand to people with AIDS. Believe me when I say that friendship and support that people can give each of us is incredibly important. Hi, this is Peter Yarrow of Peter, Paul and Mary asking you to take care of us and also to take care of others around you. Reach out a helping hand to people with AIDS. Thank you. For the past two years, since I've known about the fact that I have AIDS, an interesting thing has happened to me. You see, I've had some serious time to think about who I am and what it is that I want out of my life. You probably never heard someone say that AIDS is a good thing, but since I've been diagnosed, I've gotten a different outlook on life. I'm a student at San Jose State in California, studying medieval history and urban planning. I'm actively involved in student government, serving as director for academic affairs. Studying history, I've seen many people, many generations that did not have an idea of who they were or what they wanted from life. I don't want to make that mistake. Finding out who I am, I have found out that it mean, what it means to care, to be a friend, to be honest, and to be giving. I wish the same for you, that you get in touch with who you are and learn what is important for you. No, AIDS isn't a great thing to have, but it gave me the perspective to know who I am, and that's an important thing to learn. The people around you with AIDS are people too. Get to know them, get to find out who they are. Reach out a helping hand to people with AIDS. This is Cheetah Rivera. Dr. Robert Windham, the Assistant Secretary for Health, asked me to call on all my friends to help an adult or child with AIDS. We're asking you to hold out a helping hand to a mother with a baby with AIDS who needs a volunteer babysitter while she shops, or maybe you can drive an adult to a clinic or hospital for treatment, or just keep someone company. Please, hold out a helping hand. Hello, I'm Stockard Channing. Please lend a helping hand to help people with AIDS. Thank you. I'm here with two of my friends from Florida, Art Ferranti and Lou Teicher. You usually see them holding their gifted hands over a piano, but not today. You too can have gifted hands when you hold them out to those who need your help. I'm talking about people with AIDS. Lou? You can make a real difference in the life of someone with AIDS. By doing simple chores or errands, not only will you be a big help, but you will also show that you care. Join us in holding out a helping hand to people with AIDS. Dr. 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 Wyndham. Hello, I'm Griffin Dunn. Please lend a helping hand to people with AIDS. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a songbird, Karen Akers. Everything that you try. Hi, I'm Karen Akers. Dr. Wyndham and I need your help. Please hold out a helping hand to people with AIDS. Hi, I'm Harvey Firestein. Please lend a helping hand to people with AIDS. We do want people to help. People with AIDS have the same human needs as anyone else. They hurt when they are neglected or lonely, just like anyone else. Tell them, Vera. Anyone can get AIDS. I got it, shooting drugs. I want to add a voice, add my voice, to those of Dr. Wyndham and Neil Carter. If you know somebody with AIDS, you can make a difference in their lives. You can drive them to a clinic. You can babysit their kids or visit with them. But even if you don't know anybody with AIDS, you can help, no? That's right. 
A journalist student could work on a newspaper. An accounting student could help with office management of an AIDS coalition. Come on, give them a break. Please hold out a helping hand to people with AIDS. Come here, girlfriend. Give me a hug. And now, it's a great pleasure to introduce our Ambassador of Health, Dionne Warwick. Dionne? What are friends for? They're for care and concern, support and sympathy and love. If you know someone who has been diagnosed as having AIDS, AIDS-related complex, or who has tested positive to having the AIDS virus, the chances are that they will feel frightened, isolated, lonely, or depressed. You can't get AIDS by being a listening, sympathetic, supportive friend. Your care and love will mean a whole lot to someone with AIDS, and that is what friends are for. Please, hold out a helping hand to people with AIDS. And now, I'd like to add my own personal request. Please, hold out a helping hand to people with AIDS. Thank you. <laughs>